In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. So we say the confession to you. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore to us the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, 
and also the Gecko Mall. A reading from Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the law, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming, but speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. And this is the word of the Lord. <laughs>
Lord, to whom else can we go? You have the words of eternal life. May we hear your word, believe it, and obey it. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He's speaking to the crowd who'd been fed by the five loaves and two small fishes of last Sunday's gospel. And over the next few weeks, we will hear our gospel reading from St. John and encounter the bread of life over and over again. So this gives us an opportunity to have a look in a little bit of detail at the service we use Sunday by Sunday in which we receive the bread of life, the bread of God, which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Now, as I started to prepare for this series of sermons, I realised that actually I could write a sermon about practically every paragraph. So I'm going at something of a gallop rather than a trot through the first section this morning. But let's just notice the front cover. Holy Communion for ordinary time, that's not in a season such as Christmas or Easter, according to order one of common worship. There are actually two orders, order one being the more modern one, and two based more on the prayer book. And common, because it is common across the Church of England, indeed much of the worldwide Anglican Church. The service comes from a whole suite of services, authorised for use in the year 2000 and regularly added to since. This is the main volume and all the rest fit about that much of a bookshelf now. Lots of choice. So, we're looking at the gathering today and on page three it says the gathering in big letters, the left hand corner and underlined. And that format marks the four main parts of our service. It begins with a greeting. The Lord be with you. And also with a Trinitarian declaration. Today's are very standard ones for the Church of England, proclaiming our Trinitarian faith all together. Now, unlike the Roman Catholic Church, which has libraries of encyclicals about what the Church believes, the Church of England has very little written doctrine. If you want to know what we believe, look at the words we say in our worship. So straight off the blocks, we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We declare our Trinitarian faith. Then we have a dialogue between, well, the President, that's Father John today, and the people. The President? Yes, the one, normally a bishop or a priest, who presides over the whole service and the gathered community. Deliberately not called the celebrant because we are all here to celebrate, to celebrate God's love and care. For as St. Paul reminded us in our first reading, we aren't just individuals who happen to be in the same building this morning, but we are the body of Christ and the gathering brings us together and links us with one another, with the body of Christ globally, ecumenically, and you'll find Methodist and Roman Catholic churches use words very similar to ours at communion, and throughout history. And the prayer of preparation, and Father John introduced it as a collect for purity, which is an alternative name for it, 
is one which stretches back in time. 1662 was when the Book of Common Prayer was produced to the Church of England by Mary Thomas Cranmer's work, but this prayer stretches back over a thousand years, probably said in Latin for many of them. Then up steps the liturgical deacon, and that happened to be me this morning. And again, in our first reading, there was mention of different gifts and ministries within the church. They were all rather churchy ones mentioned. So I want to admit, add to that list, administrators, minute takers, cleaners, electricians, first aiders, lunch makers, youth leaders, and I'm just thinking of Thursday gone with that list. All part of the building up of the body of Christ. We all have a part to play. And the role of the liturgical deacon is something of a gatherer, introducing things which we are all going to do to cue us in. Now, beware. Beware. Sometimes all means everyone except the president, such as in the dialogue at the beginning, the Lord be with you, and we all except the president reply, and also with you. But sometimes it really does mean all, all of us and the president. And it does so in the next section. But despite different gifts and ministries, there is only one type of person in church. Sinners. So I cue this in with words from scripture this morning. And then after a short silence, in which you may wish to bring to mind specific sins, we all come before God and state our sinfulness, our need of God's love and mercy, and request help for the future. I find that line in the version of the confession we use today, renew a right spirit within me, a very short and helpful prayer when I find myself in my head particularly being judgmental or racist or mean, etc, etc. The rubrics, that's what we call the rules which govern the service, actually allow for the confession to come at various points in the service. There's a lot of flexibility in this common worship. But most churches seem to have settled like us with it being at the early point. Let's get rid of the gloat and the grot early. Let's hear the words of God's forgiveness in the absolution proclaimed by the president. And then we are freer to lift up our hearts in joy and thanksgiving and move on. That's important. We recognise we are forgiven and leave the guilt behind. And next up, well, at the moment it's a musical alleluia, but normally it's a gloria. And here, here we join the praise of the angels as the opening words, glory to God in the highest, echo those the angels sang to the shepherds as Jesus was born. We're going through something of a roller coaster of emotion in all this, from the depths of our sin, through the release of God's forgiveness, on to the heights of singing the song of the angels. This is just the gathering. And then we come to the collect, the prayer which really collects us all together and serves as a bridge between our gathering, 
are being formed together as the body of Christ. And the next section, the liturgy of the word. Although the words of the collect vary week to week, the structure is always the same. An opening phrase which says something about the nature or action of God. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit. Then a request that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. And always ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And at the end, all the people say, Amen. Our word of assent. This is my prayer too. I could preach another sermon on just the word Amen. But I won't today. And you may all want to say Amen to that. Let us profess our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is saved. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts with faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from our hearts. We believe in God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with us, let us pray to the Father. Holy God, make us receptive and open as we lay our prayers before you. May we accept your kingdom through faith and trust in you. We thank you for Ken Janice and Reverend Tracy, working faithfully to lead your church here in Northfield. We pray that you will do it well as we may. Uphold and strengthen you when they grow weary. You began all good work in each of us, and will ultimately perfect it through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for your whole creation, for our brothers and sisters throughout the world, for their lives to be respected and revealed, regardless of color, creed, sexuality, wealth, or status, for a responsible sharing of precious resources and the conservation of our fragile and beautiful world. We pray for all your authority who have the power to act to preserve our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we raise before you those trying to grow, produce, or transport food and supplies at this difficult time of pandemic. We pray for all those struggling to cope with the fear of infection and hope that all those you need to be vaccinated will find it in their hearts to do this, not just for themselves, but for the protection of their fellow human beings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
loving God, bring healing to all who are sick or broken, and shed light where there is darkness. May all those in distress or pain know your loving presence beside them. We thank you for all who work in our nations, continuing to work to bring healing and help to all in their care. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Merciful God, we thank you for those who have travelled before us on the way of the cross and are now at peace in your eternal presence. Help us to live always mindful of your promise to us that the road of faith will lead into your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Faithful God, Fill our home with the food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. If you are able to ask, be pleased to say. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And the Lord also be with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. You've got to remember those on Zoom. We do indeed, and I can tell you who they are. Some of them, Ruth, Ruth is looking cheerful, being Zoom host, so that's always a good sign. And Janice is there, and Chris, and Hilary, and Dot, and Rosie, and Mike, and iPad. I think it possibly is Roy, Pat, and Rita, and Janet. And Kyle and Abby, who is bound to go to meet later. Abby is the granddaughter of Jerry Morgan. And Val and Anne and Yehu um, and Joan. And I'm, I'm just looking at the numbers. Possibly, possibly Jean um, and possibly somebody else on the phone. So lovely to see them and managed to see them. And lovely to see everybody else. Father John is now setting up the altar. So please be seated. Have you returned to full moment when we sanitize our Absolutely. Open the bottom of the page now. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened. By whose mercy we offer a sacrifice of grace. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is light to be thanks to the Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning, you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to proclaim your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Savior, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of men. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, Form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Bring us at the last with Lawrence and all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, with all who stand before you, in earth and in heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though we are many, we 
are one body because we all share in one bread. Draw near, we think. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his love, which he shed for you. Eat and drink, whether physically or spiritually, in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. So we turn to page 15 of the service books and say together our post communion prayers. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you, Father John. Now, I said that Kyle and Abby were listening, so we will leave their bands and also those of non couples. So, I published the bands of marriage between Kyle David Walker and Abby Louise Morgan, both single and of the parish of Christ Church Epsom. And Abby has a qualified connection of having been baptized here at St. Lawrence Church. And also between Mitchell Paul Perry and Bethany Jo Lane, both single and of the parish of St. Bar Bartholomew Alcross, which gives them a qualifying connection too. This is for the first time asking if any of you know any reason or in law why they may not marry each other, you are to declare it now. Let's pray for them. God of love. We pray for these couples as they prepare for their weddings, particularly at this difficult time. Fill them with your love, that their marriages may be long and happy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, a quick look at the notices. Um, we're going to continue with services as they are for the next two or three weeks. And then we're going to start relaxing things a little if things are looking good. And particularly once we can use the aisles, um, sort of have more people in church. And also introduce a bit of singing at the end. And if you know the words to the final hymn this morning, do, do sing along with you and do your mask or hum along at least for the moment. Um, we just, the PCC met on Thursday after the lighting demonstration on Wednesday evening, and we're going to be going ahead with AJ Smith of Gloucester. It's full steam ahead. Stuart Scotland are coming on Tuesday to get the detailed specification done and start on the faculty. And we have a little bit of more progress with the porch in that some of the plastering was done this week. The person fitting the floor tiles has been having to self-isolate, but we're hoping that will happen on Friday. How green is your heart? Our green tree is green tree is growing with hearts on it, so please do remember to bring them back to show our commitment to all the issues which climate change is producing. And we have a lovely time at 5.30. 
guys to church, didn't we, Elaine? So we've seen some lovely happy faces of the children as we explored the garden and um, sang Jesus' love. It's very wonderful. So green, you can't get away from it. And Larry's, um, we've got funding for Larry's over the summer, um, including lunch. So if you know any young people of secondary school age, send them along from one to four on Thursdays, um, and it's free. So if you know children of secondary school age, um, if an adult could come the first time to do all the paperwork, that would be really helpful. And we've got a barbecue coming up for St. Lawrence Day. We're celebrating that the weekend of the 14th, 15th of August. And the barbecue tickets are here. They're £5 an annual, £3 a child. We can, we'll have either a hot dog or a big burger. And there's a family ticket as well, available as well. And Dorothy and Jacob, again, a bit of a green recycling issue, are looking out for any old or broken phones or tablets. So, let's stand and come along at the very least to our final hymn, which is one of the tunes to Glorious Things of Thee Are Spoken. peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and our peace son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Let's wave to one another, wave to those on Zoom, remember to go out that way. <laughs>